Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be fitting the video to the Brother J5330 DW. So we've been waiting for this one for quite some time. So at the moment the printer is powered on. I've got no ink cartridges in the printer. So you, on the instruction sheet you provided you'll be given uh, a video link for filling and priming prior to installing the system. You must fill it and prime it before it goes into the printer. Please don't put the ink in the sys and then run head cleans or raise it in the air to get the ink to travel down the lines. You must fill it and prime it prior to installing the continuous ink system. So these are the Brother printers generally they are probably one of the easiest continuous ink systems to fit. So what we have here, we have a, a specially modified cartridge. So we have an LC3217 cartridge. But it's been modified, it has an LC3219 chip on it. So basically we have another video which shows a chip resetter, how you just reset these. And the reason that we've used, uh, the reason we've used the smaller cartridges so that we've got plenty of room inside here. But the reason we've put the 3219 chip on, is basically it's less resets of the chip. So basically you can get 70 mil out of it before you have to reset it. And it comes in here at the side here. So we're going to pop the cartridges into the printer just like so. Now you can see what I mean here. It's just given us so much more room here to come in at the side entrance to the cartridge here. Which makes it easier to do. So you have to install these very slowly. Now if you look at the, you probably can't see this on the display. But if you... Uh, click on if you look at the here it says installing normally when it's put in that is norm that normally changes so i'm going to click them in slowly push them in very slowly and if it says it's not detected take them out put them back in and and repeat the process but you must put it in very slowly so there's a bit on the instruction sheet which covers the not detected error message but just refer to the instruction sheet if you do get stuck so i'm going to pop them all in and then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to see that they're actually all detected before I seal the lid. So that's it, they're all they're all recognised straight away, or no problem at all, so we can actually start to use this. But before we do, I'm going to install a couple of clips on the side. So the door, it's quite a big door, and uh, it has to stay shut. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put one... Uh, which way around do I want it? One there. That way around so the opening is there. And then I'm going to put one on the side of the printer. On that way around so the teeth are facing. I'm going to pop that on the side. Like that. And the reason for that is that we have an elastic band. It's just to keep the door from flapping open uh, while the printer is in use. So I'm going to put that there. And put that in there. So if I spin it round look. You can see there exactly what I've done. Just two things there to keep the door from flapping open and it doesn't trap the tubes. So for those models, I think it's a 5730 that uses two paper trays. It will come with a stand, a perspex stand. So if your printer has two, two paper trays, you will put the SIS system on the stand like this. If you don't have two paper trays, you won't be supplied with a stand and it will just normally sit on the side like so. So I'm going to remove the small flat plugs from the side of the continuous ink system. Let's just spin it around so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to take these off. And within your accessory pack... You have some small air filters which look like this. So these should be installed with the narrow pointed end facing upwards. Mm. And that's it. The continuous ink system is, is, is actually installed. We're done. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to run uh, a head clean nozzle check. So you may have to do two, one or two, or even sometimes you can get away with one. Sometimes you have to do more than one. So I'm just going to clean all colours on a strong... But I would recommend that you do a nozzle check first. You might not need to do a head clean. 
I'm just preempting that I'm going to need to do one and I'm doing a head clean anyway. Okay, so I've run a head clean and what we're going to do, we're going to check the printed head nozzles and should be good to go. Okay, so we have an okay nozzle check now. So are there any missing dotted lines? No, so I'm just gonna copy something from, from the scanner. Options for ginger paper. Just bear with me, I'm just uh, selecting. Right, so it's just scanning the metal plate that I put under the lid. I'm only going to do one document. There's, there's no moving part, so there's not really anything for you to see with this continuous ink system once it's installed. I just thought I'd let you see it doing a print. So I have to selected a photo quality setting, so it's going to take a little bit longer than it would normally would. Do you just do a standard print? Probably should have chosen uh, a different setting. It would have been a bit quicker. It's not the quickest printer in the world on a on a high quality setting. Okay, so it's starting to come out now. And that's how you install the continuous ink system from City Ink Express on the Brother J55 or 5330DW. Thanks for watching.